Yes, we got him. Better late than never. The star Winnipeg Blue Bombers defensive lineman, Willie Jefferson, joining us all the way from the great state today. How you doing, Willie J? I'm good, man. I'm blessed. Yes, Happy you to are. Be here. You absolutely are. Hey, I got to jump right out of the gate with a question from one of our viewers. Mandy in Edmonton said, can you ask Willie, who is the favorite coach he ever played for? I'm going to start right now with the fan questions. Willie, how would you answer that? Uh, the favorite coach that I played for would have to be Coach Jones just because of the way he coaches, the defensive mindset that he has, and the, uh, the way he let me loose once uh, – I started to do the things that I was doing uh, with him in Edmonton. Now, are you going to – I'm surprised you haven't gone to Cleveland with him. Are you going to go down there this year or take a look at it? Uh, man, that's, that's up to them. You know, I'm uh, obviously free and, you know, healthy and doing a lot of athletic things right now. But if they don't bring me up there, that's, that's on them. All right, Willie. Hey, I didn't want to start just rope and doping you with all the tough questions right out of the gate here. This is just what people, we don't get a chance to talk with you every day. So let's just ease off the gas for a second. How's life down there in the great state? I see you're watching a lot of NFL. You enjoying it? Life good? Yeah, man. Life is uh, honestly great. You know, besides not playing football, I can't, I couldn't uh, complain. You know, I'm here every day with my wife and my daughter. Uh, having fun, being able to, you know, grow with them, see her grow up uh, every day, learn something new about that, you know, have a lot of free time to, you know, relax, uh, get my body back in uh, in order, you know, working out, uh, experiencing the summer time in Texas, something that I haven't been able to do in a long time, being able to see a lot of family and friends outside of the uh, pandemic and things like that, and, you know, just enjoying myself. Good for you. I can tell by the smile on your face, by the way. You deserve it. Um, it's interesting, by the way. Frank Horsley writes in. He says, love you, Willie, from the UK bomber. He's watching in the United Kingdom right now. Something about yes, you, sir. Willie. Edmonton fans love you. Saskatchewan fans love you. Winnipeg fans love you. What is it about you, Willie? Uh, man, I'm a, I'm a uh, man of the people. You know, where I come from, I didn't have a lot of people to, you know, grow up in, admire, and admire and you know, be uh, fans of and things like that. So when I'm able to go to these places and uh, play the game that I love and just do the things that I love and these people love me for that, I just want to, you know, share that with everybody. You know, if you see me in the streets or see me in the mall where most of these people see me or out to eat with my family or, you know, with teammates and things like that, if you recognize me and want to take a picture with me, want to talk to me and things like that, I'm all for it. You know, I'm a... uh, like I said, I'm a man of the people. I just love to talk to people, love to meet new people, uh, love to, you know, have friends in all different places and things like that. So, you know, see me say hi, I'm going to say hi back. I'm going to wave, you wave, I'm going to wave back. Hang on, Lynch. You, Willie, are what makes the CFL great. And I got to mention something here. Your wife, Holly, is a must-follow on Twitter. She's fantastic on there. She said when Hilarious. you won yeah, the most outstanding defensive player in the CFL award last year, she said you changed your environment and your world changed. I know what she meant, but a lot of people don't. Would you mind telling that story? You're coming off the best year of your life. Great Cup championship, defensive MVP, Willie. But you made a change. Can you talk about that? Uh, I'm saying it's just, it's just, you know, getting away. You know, uh, sometimes you grow up in a, in a place where, you're used to things or used to having things, used to things being at your reach and stuff like that. And you get complacent, you know. So uh, with me and my wife and things like that, we want to do things on our own. We don't like to, you know, ask for a lot of, uh, not to say help, because, you know, everybody needs help in, uh, every now and then. But the way we went about this season, you know, I, I moved away from uh, Houston out here to Austin a place where I'm not very comfortable uh, at being, you know, a new place for me. And uh, just was able to link up with some new people and, you know, train differently and, you know, uh, see things in a different light. So when it came to the season, I brought that to the season. And, you know, uh, me being in a new place, like Winnipeg and things like that, not knowing the coaches, not knowing very many of the players and things like that, I was still in my mindset as – 
you know what I'm saying? I need to grow from this. I need to learn from this and things like that. Like, how can I make myself better being in a new place where I'm not, where I'm not accustomed to being, where I'm not known for being, where I'm not, you know, uh, as acclimated as everybody else. So me going forth through the season, I was basically locked in since day one of camp. You know, I was trying to figure out what I can do to be the best on this team, what I can do to be the best leader on this team, what I can do to be the best, you know, teammate for this team and things like that. And as the year went on, you know, my, my play uh, progressed and, you know, plays just continue to happen and things just continue to happen for me and as well as the team. And that just put me in a different mindset. So, you know what I'm saying? This year being my, my best year, you know, all I could do is just, uh, you know, thank my wife, you know, you know what I'm saying, for being with me for the time that we was together in Winnipeg. You know, she made things a lot easier for me, you know what I'm saying, coming home and being a dad, you know what I'm saying, being a, uh, a husband and things like that. And on, on top of that, being uh, an elite football player, you know, that took a lot of stress off of me to so where I could just go out and play ball and just do the things that I do. So, and yeah. then winning these awards and things like that, I just got to, uh, I just got to say thanks to the coaching staff and the players and, you know, my teammates, you know, uh, we worked hard, you know, it was early mornings and uh, late nights, but we was always in the facility and things like that, talking, working. So at the end of the day, it was, it was a, a team effort, you know, me and my family, you know, said me and my teammates, you know what I'm saying? It, it all came together perfectly. You are an absolute inspiration. So extremely proud of you for doing that. Now over to you, Lynn. She's got more questions for you. Okay, well, uh, are you keeping in touch with the Bombers at all, your buddies up there and some of the executive at all, or you just don't talk to them at all anymore, or what's the situation? <laughs> yeah, man, I keep in touch with uh, pretty much uh, a good majority of the guys. You know, uh, Jackson Jeff Coat stays here in uh, Austin with me. Uh, me and him pretty much talk, I, I want to say at least at least once or twice a week, you know, uh, try to get together, do some drills, get some workouts and stuff like that in, keep that chemistry with me and him up. Uh, you know, I have a group chat with, uh, with a couple of the other guys. You know, I talk to Yosh every now and then, D.A., Every now and then, Stan, you know, Zach, Wally, uh, Dembski, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, we try to keep in touch and things like that, keep uh, keep the communication and stuff like that, tight, see what everything's like, where they, uh, everything is going on with everybody else and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I talked to Coach O'Shea probably like once a month, uh, Coach Rich probably once a month. Uh, I haven't talked to Kyle uh, in a while, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, me and Kyle keep in, keep in contact. So it's everything's on the up and up, man. Everything's good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's happy. You know, uh, just waiting for 2021 to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Go the Bombers. Blue, bomb- blue Bombers are watching right. Oh, yeah. Come on down to Winnipeg. You're also a marketing dream. Yeah, exactly. Bring the smoke. Blue Bombers are watching, yeah, and they say, it. "Yeah, they say, let's see that Grey Cup ring, Willie. That's from the Bombers. You got it handy? Oh, look at that. Wow, that's a Grey Cup deep. ring. Oh, oh, oh. How very did, impressive. How did you get it, Willie? How did you get it? Did they hand deliver it or they ship it? How did hey, you get if, it? If you, if, you, if, you, if, you haven't seen, if you haven't seen my wife's Instagram, she got the whole thing. They came to the door, brought it, you know. Hand delivered. She signed for it and uh, wow. surprised me with it and everything. So, you know, it was a blessing to get it. I don't know if y'all can see that on the inside. Yeah, what's it say inside? What's it say? It says FIFO. That's a quote that uh, only bombers would know about. They have the score of the game, and then it's uh, for the W. And then on the uh, back side of the ring, everybody was able to put their own quote to uh, remember the season from, and I chose no handouts. Wow. Because everything nice. that we got, we fought for it. Oh, Willie, that's amazing. I am incredibly happy for all of you guys over there in Winnipeg. I got to ask you this, though. If you're rolling with Jackson Jeffcoat in Austin, he's abs- – now, what do you got there? Esks? What's that? It's out of the camera. No, nah, that's the uh, – Oh, outstanding defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That is bling, 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 man. Holy, so I can't even, man, that's heavy hand right there. That's, yeah. a, that's a lot of ice. You ever go out wearing both of them? Yeah, do you have, let, fans. yeah. 
Oh, there's a Hall of Fame career right there, yeah. looking us right in the face today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do you ever go out wearing all those rings outside? Never. 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 Right. Never. Never. My wife wear my wife wore this ring to every game this year. Every game, my uh, Edmonton Grey Cup ring. That's something that she does. So she wears that that ring to every game around her neck on a little necklace and things like that. So that's a hell that's of a team she does to get yeah. to get ready for game day. That's a hell of a team he got there, by the way. And uh, hilarious, by the way, your daughter's it's Kelly, right? Your daughter. Yes. <laughs> I just I look in that kid's eyes on your photos. And I'm like. That's Willie looking right back at me. Do you ever get that from people that she looks just like you? Yeah, I've, I've been getting that for a while. You know, uh, I guess I just have strong genes. You know what I'm saying? Like I, <laughs> yeah, I look, I look at, I look at it every day and just see her mom's uh, personality and her <laughs> smile and things like that. But you know what I'm saying? When, uh, when other people look at, it, I guess that's all they see is me and my and my big smile and. You know what I'm saying? My personality, but, you know. Yeah, no, yeah not too bad to look like Holly either. Okay, but what uh, do you got, Lynch? Well, a big question. Where can we expect to see you in 2021? Oh, 2021, I'm back in Winnipeg. You know, well, if, you're, if everything oh, the shakes out. You're back with the Bombers? That's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there 2020, 2021. I'm there. All right, good. Hey, I just got, this is burning me up. Well, for one, the Stamps fan, Jeff Washington, says, the Esks, Rod? Yeah, the Eskimos won the Grey Cup, my man. Don't get on me for that. I was there. It was the Eskimos. 2015, now, it was a great season. Exactly. Jackson Jeffcoat is royalty in Austin, right? Is he taking you to the Moncrief facility at the University of Texas? Like, he is a stud down there. Uh, I believe up with the, almost Ricky Williams and Vince Young. What's it like rolling with him down there? It's it's nice rolling with Jackson out here in Austin when uh when we go out to uh places like UT you know what I'm saying visit the campus and things like that uh we I plan to go to you know hopefully a college game with him sometime this season and things like that but uh I want to say last year before the 2019 season we was working out together uh on UT campus and Jackson just so happened to have to go into UT to get some stuff and stuff like that and. You know what I'm saying? I walk with him and stuff. Uh, a lot of the staff and stuff, people like that still remember him, you know, still, you know, giving him handshakes and high fives and stuff like that. And he brought me through the uh, certain hall or something at, at UT and showed me all the awards. They still had a couple of his pictures and stuff hanging. Yeah, there's up. a I monument. Was, there's like, a monument to him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, OK. I was like, OK, Jason. I was like, OK. Hey, you're a pretty this, big you know, deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? UT, you know, uh, does recognize their players and treat their players and alumni and, you know, people like that, right? So for Jackson to still be in Austin, still have the, you know, pull that he has and the recognition that he has at UT, I mean, that's, that's nice. A uh, viewer wants to know what you are doing to keep busy these days. Man, I'm actually uh, training kids in my spare time when I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm training still when I'm not doing that. I'm at home running around after my daughter. Uh, when, if I'm not doing that, I'm here helping my wife do, you know, uh, online classes with my niece and my nephews. Uh, and when I'm not doing that, I'm probably just sitting at home watching TV, watching movies, playing 2k. <laughs> Good. Um, Armando. I'm trying, and I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying my hardest not to be bored. Trying Looks like hardest. you're doing all right with it. Armando Moreno in Mexico writes in, what are Willie's thoughts on the Bombers global players? You got a pretty good one on the D line there, as I recall. Man, my, uh, my thoughts on the global players are, uh, we need to get more of them. You know, uh, Tiedric was one, like what they say, uh, one of many you know he was he was something special and we and i was i was happy to have him on the team uh my boy manny uh he was on the team from mexico my boy serge was a cornerback from mexico they was both uh good defensive players uh hopefully you know they can come back and we can uh get a chance to play again with it with each other 
Uh, I understand there was a couple of other uh, global players on other teams in the CFL that did well. Uh, I think one of them was a kicker. We had him in training camp, and re- I, I think we released him, and I think he ended up going to uh, Hamilton to end up playing. So, you know, he stuck around for a while. I heard it was a receiver that was out there doing uh, big things. And, you know, uh, I follow a couple of the global teams on social media and stuff like that, and I think some of those guys deserve a chance to, you know, get on a bigger stage and, you know, show their skills. So, you know, if, if it was up to me, more global players to the CFL, just like, you know, it already is. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a Canadian game. We got a couple of Americans in there. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, the commissioners trying to, you know what I'm saying, broaden the horizons for the CFL and things like that, bringing in other countries to play. You know what I'm saying? The more the merrier, what I say. There's a wonderful especially commercial. If players, especially if we can get players like T. Edric. Yeah, there's a wonderful commercial for a CFL 2.0 right there. Hey, lastly, were you ever able to get the Grey Cup down to the great state? Because I saw you were pretty vocal about the fact you couldn't take it home. Did you ever end up getting it? No, I wish. I wish. I, I like I said, man. If I was ever, if I was just so ever able to get the Grey Cup down to the great state of Texas, I would show the great cup a good time you know i'll probably bring it to a ut game let it let it you know what i'm saying let it experience a little ut uh bring it to a baylor game bring it to a stephen f austin game you know probably a u of h game just just everywhere just everywhere i'll probably bring it to to dallas you know you know, uh probably put some uh some nice texas uh beer in it you know for a little <laughs> bit you know just just let it enjoy itself out here in Texas, man. Something that, that it has never been able to do. This would have been the perfect time. Hey. They probably would have it probably would have been out here a little bit too long with, with COVID and things like that. You know, I would have had to keep it safe. But hey, we'll, we'll you, talk about that at a different time. You guys are rolling a little more wide open down there than we are up here, so I think you'd be surprised at what you probably could be able to do. Now the fans are going crazy. Chris in Toronto, the Grey Cup needs a tour like that. Willie, you're giving us something to do. So that's going to be the plan. We're going to get that hey, thing down there. I wish. You know, man, you know, uh, the, the Jets came played the uh, the Stars in in Dallas, not too long ago, I was I was telling them like they could have just they could have just sent it out here with the uh, with the Jets. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get it down there. Special delivery, just like your ring did. Uh, hey, Willie, man. we'll we'll let you go. Thanks for this wonderful interview. I'm glad you're doing so well. Can't wait to see you on a CFL soon uh, field soon. You're a great one, Willie. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Are a great. Appreciate one. y'all having me, man. You bet. Anytime, anytime, Rod, man. Hey, I, I'm here if you need me. Awesome. We'll be in touch. Thank you, Willie. One of the greatest yes, CFL players oh, yeah. ever. Oh, that's for sure. Willie Jefferson. You're looking at a living Hall of Famer. No question about that. I'm appreciate, glad appreciate the talent of these yeah. guys. Yeah, and glad. the personality, by the way. Yep. They don't always go hand in hand. Sure don't. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.